What is up, Tube of the U? It's your boy Marcus Jones. This is Jonesing for Pokemon, and today we are Jonesing for some Shining Fates goodness. With me today, we got the Shiny Dragapult V Box. Now, if you haven't watched my last video, we did the Crobat box, and today we're gonna be doing the Dragapult just to see which box had the better pulls. Now, when it comes to Shining Fates, I've been running so far at a 50% clip, which means about one out of every two packs had either a shiny card, an ultra rare, or an amazing rare, which is phenomenal for the pull rates. My Crobat box had four out of the seven packs, so that was actually more than 50%. So let's see if this Dragapult box could have at least four, if not more, Yes, that rhymed pulls in this box. Now I got this box at Toys R Us as well, just like the Crobat box. My local Toys R Us is limiting two total Pokemon products per customer. So that's actually helped over time having more stock in the store longer and more of a chance of people actually finding Pokemon products, which right now, as everyone knows, it's pretty much a very hard task to do. So here we have the two promo cards with the coin. And anytime you have a chance to pull two full art shinies as the promos guaranteed in the box, you have have my vote so first up we have here the code card for the box so one of you fine folks could go ahead and claim that and we got here the Dragapult VMAX absolutely gorgeous promotion card plus it is a shiny that is just a little cherry on top that is a phenomenal looking card let's grab a sleeve let's check the back actually the centering uh, isn't too bad actually these so far these centerings haven't been awful for the uh, Shining Fates promo cards for me personally You can let me know if you guys pulled any of these how were your centerings We have here the full art Dragapult V just like the Crobat I really like how the background is just one clear color It really makes the Pokemon pop in this case Dragapult with the blue that is pretty sweet all the different layers of blue He has that is a phenomenal card, especially if you are the fan of color blue Let's grab a sleeve here for this card as well and if I had to choose which one was my favorite I think I'm actually have to go with the Dragapult V Max over the V I just really like the pattern on the background of this as well too there we have the jumbo card so big it barely fits in the screen we got the jumbo Dragapult coin and we got here the seven packs of Shining Fates so we are not gonna waste any time let's separate these by artwork uh, so no Corviknight just looking at it quickly so no Corviknight so we'll start off with the two Dragapult going into the two Toxtricity ending with the three Zards and before we open up the seven packs We also have four vivid voltage packs. We got one of each artwork We're gonna start off with the Orbital going into the Celebi Pikachu ending with my boy Zarud So here we go first pack. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch me open up Pokemon cards Ooh, so inside this the Orbital we have the Pikachu pack so not too shabby but I just want to say thank you guys for watching me on this channel. We are actually growing slowly, bit by bit. Uh, we are almost at 300 subscribers from the making of this video. We might have passed it by the time you are watching it. That is phenomenal. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the support. Love it. Um, let's see here the first pack. Uh, Nuzleaf, Galarian Meowth, Duskull. We got Voltorb, Weedle, Drillbur. Reverse Hollow Shaman, and for the first rare, we have a non hollow shift tree. So that's okay, non hollow. Let's get them out of the way. Next pack here, we got the Celebi. And yeah, folks, so honestly, thank you guys so much for subscribing to this channel. Uh, I really appreciate the support. Let's see. I would love to grow this community. I love to read all your comments that you guys do post. I try to reply to every single one of them. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, I just enjoy you guys pulling cards, you guys getting super excited with your pulls. Love to read them, so definitely don't be shy to post your comments down below, even if you guys just wanna talk, see how your day's going, and oh, well, we rushed ahead. We got the Reverse Hollow uh, Duat, and then we have the non hollow Executor. So the Vivid Voltage have been a bit slow so far, but it takes that one pack to change it all. So let's get into the Pikachu. Pikachu has brought me the Thunder, and we have the Celebi pack inside. Let's see if we can get the first Hollow Rare or Ultra Rare in this pack right over here. So there we go, it's a gold card for one of you fine folks. One, two, three, four. And yeah, I post the uh, code cards in every single one of my videos. So if you guys do play the TCGO, definitely come ahead and claim your code cards in every single video. We have Reverse Hollow Voltorb. Will we get the first Ultra Rare? Rever non hollow to cannon. So uh, these have been duds to say the least. Can my boy Zarud save the Vivid Voltage name? 
I have been pulling such good cards from the last couple packs. I was due for some downers. Um, if I had to choose between the two, hopefully we could get the downers and vivid and get absolute fire from the shining fates. But I mean, I wouldn't complain if we get a bit of both. So you know what? Let's go animal style here. We had to sacrifice the Zerud for the animal style. Haven't had to do that in a while. So let's see if the animal style changes the luck here. One, two, three, four. So last pack here for Vivid Voltage. We got Energy, Giraffe Rig, Electric. We have Delmize, Dust Skull, Electric, Pineco. Really like the Pineco colors on that bad boy. We got Mudbray. We have Puchiena, non-reverse uh, non hollow. I always get confused with the dark cards. We have C Dot, which looks like it's wearing a gas mask if you look at it pretty quickly. I can never not unsee that. And for the first, um, first rare, I kind of jumped the gun there. For the rare, we have a non hollow Alcremi. So those four were absolute duds, but that is okay. That is the gamble you take with opening up Pokemon cards. Nothing is a guarantee. And let's see if Shining Fates could change our fate here for today's video. And before we get into the Shining Fates, I'm just gonna throw up here the list for the top 10 cards I am searching for in Shining Fates. As you can see, not much has changed since the last couple of videos. We have the amazing rare Reshram that we got and the Zigzagoon Shiny. Hopefully we could cross off a couple more of those Pokemon on today's video. So let us get into the first pack here, Dragapult. Now we are starting off with the Dragapults because they have not treated me that well. The pack artwork, oh, there we go. Uh, let's change it up, code card. One, two, three, four. They have not treated me well, but that could hopefully change inside the Tragapult box. Maybe the Charizard is in here. So here is the rare. This is where the, the shiny would be in the reverse holo slot. So let us change that up. All right. So we have here Energy. We got Gym Trainer, uh, Luxio, Eldegoss, Cacnea, Horsey, Eevee, Frolicking in the Water. I uh, cannot wait to do that this summer because right now it is still freezing here in Canada. We got Choodle chomping on some cattails. We have here more Pico. We got Volcanion as the rare, so no full art gym trainer. We have not pulled one of those yet. And for the reverse hollow slot, we have a Evil Tall Amazing Rare first pack. There we go, spitting on my own words. So excited, have not pulled this one yet. All we had was the Reshiram. Evil Tall Amazing Rare. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Let's grab a sleeve here. There we go. Sleeve it up. That is a beautiful card. I am super bummed. They are stopping the amazing rares after this set. I was really hoping they'd continue it for a couple more sets, at least in the Sword and Shield series. But we will take what is given. Evil Tall, amazing rare. How are you? So not too bad. Dragapult, you have not disappointed me. That is sweet. We got an amazing rare. Uh, like I said, hopefully, I was hoping for, oh, folks, folks, we have something. Oh, let's not show too much of it. Back-to-back -back bangers for Dragapult. So Dragapult in the Dragapult box is where it seems to be at. Let us put that behind. Let's do the old switcheroo. Now, is that a VMAX card? Is it a full art trainer? I don't know. Is it a shiny? Let us soon find out. I'm just trying to rush through this. We got Snom sitting on a park bench waiting for the bus to arrive so he can go on its first date. We got here Ditto V. So there we go. That's what we saw as the shine. We got Ditto V Max on the last opening. And now we got Ditto V. So we're still missing the shiny Ditto. And for the reverse hollow, we have a Santa Scorch V back to back bangers. Unfortunately, I've only pulled one full art shiny card and it was also a Santa Scorch V, so we doubled up. I am looking for trades now. I cannot wait for the pandemic to be over to be able to trade with you fine folks. But there we go, Santa Scorch V and the Ditto V. Let's sleeve both of those up. That is sweet. And then we got Snom just sitting on the park bench, knowing that there was two back to back bangers behind him. Uh, there we go, Ditto V. And then we got here the Santa Scorch V. That is phenomenal. So we opened two packs, got three hits. Those are some fine odds. Hopefully that can continue. We got Snom here again, just chilling. So uh, the code card for you fine folks right over there. Two, three, four. So Dragapult, man, you are sneaky. I know a lot of people are probably more fans of the Crobat over the Dragapult, but all the videos I've seen have pretty much the Dragapult pulling more hits. So, I mean, I see what you're doing, Pokemon Company, you little sneaky fellas. We got here, there we go, Hollow Decidueye. How are ya? And for the reverse Hollow, we have a shiny 
Cramorant. This box has been absolute fire. There we go, no pun intended. It is a water Pokemon. And then we have the Cramorant Shiny, which I do not believe I have yet. So let us grab another sleeve. Cramorant Shiny. Holy smokes. So I mean, I'm almost getting more pulls in this box than I did in my entire ETB of 10 packs. Uh, if we get any more pulls, I'm just gonna be absolutely flabbergasted. So here we go, code card. Um, I will not be opposed to it if they wanna throw in a couple more ultra rares. Uh, I won't hold it against the Pokemon company if they do. We got Dartrix, Eldegoss, Rusted Sword, Spinarak, Buizel. We got Cufant, Cacnea. Gossifleur, oh, what? Gossifleur, oh, I did not do the pack trick. There we go, we got Blip Bug Shiny. Holy smokes, this box is absolutely on fire. We didn't even get to the Charizards yet. We still have the three Zards to go. Blip Bug Shiny, oh my God. So the rare is still behind. Can we get another banger? Volcanion non hollow rare, so let's just put you right up there. But another shiny card, Blip Bug. Did not have this guy in the set. Love saying his name, Blip Bug. But there we go. Holy smokes, this box is on fuego. Look at that, Blip Bug. Throw a like for this box. Uh, with the amount of pulls, I think you have no choice but to throw a like up. I am looking for three and a half likes in all of my videos. Anything after that is just gravy. Speaking of gravy, let's get into the final three Zard packs, which did provide me with some good pulls in the Crobat box. Uh, Charizard packs were my saving grace because the box was a dud pretty much up until that point. Um, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna do the old switcheroo. So uh, I'm just looking, I'm just thinking now of all the pulls we got today. We have crossed off, I guess, another third from the Amazing Rares, but no other hits to cross off. Let's see if we could change that in these last three packs. We have Professor's Research as the rare. And for the reverse holo, we have a Reshiram. <laughs> Amazing rare. I normally don't do a recap at the end of the video, but I think today we'll have to make an exception for the amount of pulls we've got. Another double here, Reshiram. Holy smokes, Reshiram. Amazing rare. That is another gorgeous, gorgeous card. I can't believe it. Like, <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Let's grab a sleeve here. Holy smokes. Second Zard pack. Wow, look at that weird, what a weird rippage. All right, uh, I'm, I'm blown away. I wanna say I'm speechless, but I'm still talking. So I am not speechless, I'm just blown away. Uh, one, two, three, four, let's do this. Imagine we go seven for seven uh, with, with hits per pack. Like that is absolutely insane. We got Rotom, Dartrix, Gossifleur, Eevee, Nickit. We got Morpeko, Rowlet, Dreadnought as the rare. Will this be the first pack without anything great? We have a Rusted Sword Reverse Hollow. So we were due for one, but there we go. Still a pretty sweet pack. We got a Reverse Hollow Trainer. Last pack here, Shining Fates, Mr. Zard. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch me open up Pokemon cards. If you guys have opened up a Dragapult box, let me know how your pulls were. Love to read it, love to hear about it. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do the switch a right over there. So let's see, I still have yet to pull a full art trainer in uh, Shining Fates. So I mean, I know I'm being nitpicky, but it's just kind of funny how I have not pulled one full art trainer yet. We have, uh, I'm, okay, Manaphy is the rare. Got a little confused there, looked away for two seconds and confused myself, happens all the time. So we have Manaphy here for the rare and for the reverse holo slot, we have a Choodle reverse hollow. So just as promised, we will do a recap here. So automatically we started off with the Dragapult V Max, then the Dragapult V. We got the Reshiram Amazing Rare. We had the Blip Bug Shiny, the Cramorant Shiny, the Centiscorge Full Art V Shiny. We had Ditto V, and then we had the Evil Tall Amazing Rare. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. I am looking for three and a half likes. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, smash the subscribe button down below. Hope you guys have a good one. And remember at the end of the day, we're all just jonesing for Pokemon. Catch you in the next video.